Hi, I'm Bill Snodgrass. Welcome to this episode. We're going to do a tutorial Portrait Pro. We're going to do a Portrait Pro 19, Portrait Pro 19 tutorial in the Photoshop plugin. So I have um, already opened an image and we're going to focus on just the eye feature of the Portrait Pro plugin. So we go down to Filter, Anthropics, Portrait Pro. We're going to just basically be looking at the, the the things that you can do in the, the eye tools inside the Portrait Pro plugin, also inside the standalone app as well. And the first thing it's going to do is locate the faces. This should not be too difficult since it's a very prominent uh, picture of a girl's face. Had a comment in a previous video said I should use like a 45 year old model for these tutorials. If you're a 45 year old model and you'd like to be in a tutorial, let me know. Um, otherwise, speaking of, I do have the paperwork on this person who is not an adult, the paperwork from their parents consenting to appear in the video. Finding the face, it is a female. And immediately it loads in and puts on the the default preset. It does a, I, I just, I feel like it does a really, really good job. However, we're going to turn off everything except eyes. We'll come back and turn eyes on or leave eyes on and, and we're going to open that up and do stuff inside the eyes filter. So <clears throat> starting right away, it brings in, sets a default setting master, um, whatever the preset, whatever preset it chose. I think it generally picks like um, a, a general glamour preset thing. One of the many presets up here. Standard is the one that it generally applies. And after it has applied that filter, then um, I've turned everything off except the eye part. So I'm going to run through these features, these options, these tools, and have a look at what they can do. Master Fade is, is going to change everything in. Uh, so if I slide it down, it turns down most of the settings. If I turn it back up, you can see how sliding the master slider changes many of the settings all simultaneously. So we're going to do these kind of one by one. Whiten eyes. So whitening the eyes is going to take the original eye and it's going to apply um, sort of a, a brightening of the part of the eye that's supposed to be white. You have the option of controlling independently left or right eye. So brightening the eye, I'm going to leave that down and just bring whiten the eyes up. And that's going to work in those areas. Cleaning the eyes is going to take out the imperfections, the things that might be like uh, dark spots, bloodshot veins, and that sort of thing. The whitening area is the, is the space of inside this uh, uh, contour, or these control points. So uh, how much of that area do you want to add whitening to? And then by increasing the size of that, you are increasing the effect of eye whitening. So these two work, in, uh, work together. Darken the pupil is going to do what exactly what it says. Darken the pupil. Again, you have left and right eye controls. Um, I'm going to bring that back. These came out kind of dark to start with. Sharpen eyes. This is a tool that I, I, I like to sharpen the whole eye. and It's going to pick up a lot of these pieces around the control points. And you can see upper lash, lower lash, etc. I'm just going to roll, run the whole thing out just... Uh, I think feel like around 40 just for the sake of the tutorial. Um, one thing that I've, I've noticed in doing the tutorials is um, after I've finished the tutorial and made the video, I usually a lot, a lot of times look at it and go, nah, I would have done that a little bit different if I were going slowly and not trying to get everything in in a very short video. So um, keep that in mind. Sharpen eyes, uh, we set that. I do like to sharpen the eyes. Um, I just feel like that is something that adds just some pop to a lot of images. So we have on this side we have the control points which you can adjust by dragging them around. I didn't spend any time on that. I did that in a previous tutorial. The eye uh, adjustment points are pretty solid to start with so we are jumping right in. I can move the image around by left clicking and move it around here and using the, the scroll wheel I can zoom in and out. 
So we have that going on on that side as well. Brightening the iris. And you can just bring a lot of life into the image by brightening the iris. The iris is this the part of the eye. And you can see the reflection. So the model is standing in front of a window, obviously. And you can see that reflection, that catch light. Um, and and I, I like to enhance those. There is a tool down here where I can add reflection. And we'll look at that briefly. Uh, but there is so much reflection there already. That simply by brightening the iris, I can bring that in or take it out. You can change the eye color and you can pick what color you would like for the eye to be and add that color in. You can do that here. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that uh, alone. Well, let's just let's see what happens if I go red and then turn the intensity way up. So we can get different effects on the eye color. Um, Another way of changing the eye color is with the contact lens and in Port Pro 19 there are lots and lots of um, lens options that you can uh, deal with and then the scale of the lens is going to make it fit onto what part of the eye you want it to fit onto. Um, and so we can give her blue eyes or we can give her the hazel eyes or hazel two or any various combination. Um, and then the opacity of the lens is going to control the subtleness or the distinctness of that effect. Again, the scale is going, you would want to set the scale of the lens to match the part of the eye that you wanted colorized by the lens. In case your model ever wanted to have a different color eye. On some images I have found the the color of the natural color of the eye and enhanced it using a lens that is the same color as the person's eye just to, in the case where a lot of the color is lost to shadows or whatever, just to bring some of the eye color back in um, and using the actual color of the model's eye. I had a model once ask me to, uh, she, she was like, hey, I'd like to have blue eyes. So she already had kind of like hazel, and so we just added a blue contact lens over the already hazel eyes. and. Uh, it was very, very satisfying. So that's uh, the contact lens. Then there is the um, pupil, re remove pupil reflection. I don't know why you'd want to do that unless it was just terribly distracting. Um, I'm more, more likely to add a pupil reflection. And in 19, we have all different kinds and shapes of reflection. The the window uh, the window reflection is already nice in this one, and I may just want to enhance that with a little bit of um, one of these various shapes. So we have a left curve, uh, we have a right curve. I think I might just throw a little right curve in there. And no, let's try right eye lit. Maybe not um, dot. One big dot. Sunset, if you want to do sunset eyes. Try to find something. My, my, my sort of feeling is to enhance what's already there and not do something completely crazy. Um, and I'm not finding anything that I really feel like adds a lot. I'm going to go ahead and use this just for the sake of the tutorial. Now we have the reflection opacity. And if I take it all the way down to nothing, that's what is naturally there. Bring in just a little bit of the reflection and then I can adjust where the reflection appears in the eye using the nudge feature. So the, in its left, model's left, not camera left. And that seems to be in the right place. I can do vertical up and down. 
and that seems to be in the right place and, and I'm gonna bring this one into the eye just a little bit because it seems to be too far to the right so I'll bring that in just a little bit and I think up and down is pretty solid so we'll leave that alone all right now we've been through all of the eye features um, that is it there is there is a it's a very powerful program um, this is the off on so I can turn the eyes on and off which one has been affected and It seems a little overdone, and that's the case in the most of the tutorials. Uh, I always end up feeling like I have, you know, in, in, in trying to show all of the features, overdone everything. So I'm taking that eye color off, whatever that change was. Take contact lens uh, opacity off. Take that off and brings us back to more, you know, more natural looking. Um, but the power that you have within this application is amazing. Uh, I, I almost, whenever I do, and someone wants me to do an edit, I almost always will do something with the eyes. Um, the very, very least, I will brighten the eyes and sharpen them a little bit, if, if nothing else. Hopefully this has been helpful. Leave me a comment, question, or a suggestion. Um, if you are a professional graphics person, a professional Photoshop user, then uh, you probably didn't learn anything new. If you're new to Portrait Pro, hopefully this will give you some confidence in using the tool and having some fun and creating some, some wonderful, wonderful images. When you're done with the image, you just click the uh, return to from plugin it's going to apply this to the image back in Photoshop that is it please click the like button subscribe to the channel sign up for notifications leave me a comment question or suggestion that is all for this episode I'm Bill Snyder I'll see you in the next one